Hey guys, it's Backstabber808, and I'm here to teach you how to run Scarlet Monastery Cathedral and Armory the easiest way possible that you can do it as a mage. So, for your gear, you can have previous gear. You don't need anything special. So what I have is a frost weave gloves. So you can easily get that. Anything that gives frost spell damage or frost res resistance, please use it. When you have your buffs on and including the frost resistance gear, you should at least have 45 frost resistance. So if you want a little bit of a help, Having the trinket Zandalarian Hero Charm is really good just for doing more damage in a short amount of time. And the Ramstein's Lightning Bolts will definitely help in the armory section. Now, most importantly, on your boots, you do need Minor Speed Increase Enchant. This thing, without it, you will not be able to do this. Alrighty, so to start off, you are going to need to put on Ice Armor, Arcane Intellect, and Dampen Magic. Dampen Magic will allow you to get slowed a lot, a lot less frequently. And please make sure you do have a few stacks of Conjured Crystal Water and at least a stack of Conjured Sweet Rolls so that you never run out of mana. Starting in the run, as a gnome, you can start a little bit further, like around here, but as a human, you may wanna, you may wanna stand a little bit closer because Arcane Explosion can't reach as far as gnomes. So once you're starting, you want to start off with Mana Shield and Ice Barrier. Just in case anyone wants to know, this is the talents. Alrighty. So the second you put up frost barrier, uh, ice barrier, and mana shield, you want to immediately mana back up to 100% and start running. Every single spell you use has to be rank 1 except for blizzard because that will be your main damage. Now, cone of cold. An Arcane Explosion can be rank 6 as well, just in case you want some AoE. And same with Flame Strike, but that's mainly for the Armory side. So let's start. Mana up quickly. Make sure you pull. At this part of the dungeon, you want to Frost Nova, get out a little bit, and blink past these guards. You do not want to try and pull anything on your way to the cathedral's doors. Same with right here. Blink past, stay in the middle, and start opening up the doors. I don't know if you can do it with humans, but with gnomes, you can walk an arcane explosion to grab both of those. In the cathedral, arcane three times, and once you reach the center, nova, ice barrier, frost ward, and then blink. Make sure you try to stay ahead of the mobs that you are pulling. Also, make sure you use arcane explosion on the corners of every turn so that you can pull the mobs that are hard to pull. Blink, reapply ice barrier, frost ward, jump the corner, and explosion. You're already grabbing everything and it's fine. Jump, jump, Ar arcane explosion, and blink. Arcane explosion at the corner, Arcane Explosion at the corner and keep on going. If you're running out of mana, just use a mana gem, it's fine. 
At this point, you want to reapply again. Arcane Explosion. If they're far away, use Silence and teleport away. Please do not pass this bush and put your rank 1 blizzard so you don't waste any mana. Do not pass this bush or else the mobs will pass you. As you can see, there's a mob right next to me. In order to get it back to the group, just put your blizzard on top of the uh, curbside and the people on the left side will start running back. Because they do not go straight back, they take a left and then they go straight back. See? And just rank six blizzard all of them down. It's that simple. Now, all you have to do is just take down the rest. Now it's time to go on to Armory. Now this is honestly the easiest way to get some money. I don't think anything can beat it besides alchemy. And alchemy you just you have to farm herbs and that's kind of boring. Now for these guys you can deal with them however which way you want, but for me I like to Nova and Blizzard. It's not that important. It just depends on you. Now for this run, it's going to be a full clear all the way up to the boss, not skipping the tunnel. I know a lot of you like to skip the tunnel, and I think that's kind of a dick move. But, it's your character, your choice. So that Frost Nova and Flame Strike should kind of hint that that is what you will be doing with this run. Not only that, you do need limited and vulnerability potions. Without that, you cannot do this run unless you do it in two pulls. Also, this is where the Ramstein's Lightning Bolt and the Zandalarian Hero Charm comes in. Those will be your clutch items. Let's do this. On your way there, please do not try and pull any of the mobs. If not, I suggest either you go balls deep and do the run, or you hop on a window or just run out of the instance. Because it is a pain to try and make a comeback from this. For this group, you want to blink past. Make sure to avoid any guards. And you can make a pit stop right here. Buff up, do whatever you need to do. Make sure you have dampen magic up. And mana up. Always make sure at a start of a run you have 100% mana. You never know when you're going to need it. So, once you're mana up, do ice barrier, 
mana shield, make sure you get 100%, and you're going to wand. This whole entire part is just running and grabbing mobs. Arcane Explosion, Arcane Explosion, make sure to get the corners because they will not pull themselves. Arcane Explosion. Now at this part, you grab the lot, make sure you frost over them. Reapply Ice Barrier, and blink whenever you can except for when you're in the courtyard. For this group, just silence them. Easy. Blink up here, and we're doing great. See, I'm out of mana. Well, not really, but I'm pretty close. Just use whatever you can to regain that mana. Please put up a ice barrier again. Arcane explosion. Blink right here so that you can get past the entire group. And you're going to want to ice block right here. Doesn't have to be exact, but pretty close. Now you're going to want to spam limited and vulnerability potions so that they can't hurt you. Use a trinket. Arcane explosion two times. Nova. Nova for the security. Fire ward. And start raining hell. You can probably get in two and a half worth of blizzards, but if you want to be safe, just run around, Nova, use the trinket, and use your flame strike. And then Kona Cold. Reapply barriers, and just arcane explosion them down. If you need more shield, just put up a mana barrier. This was a bit scuffed, but you get the point. And just finish them off. Make sure to not kill the casters because they are your mana source. And other than that, that is the easiest way to do the runs. If you do it perfectly every time, you should always be 10 minutes before the reset of your five dungeons. Alrighty, thank you for watching.